Folks, Dennis Jr. here with Zager Guitars in Lincoln, Nebraska, with my father, Denny Sr., in the recording studio this morning. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, our uh, travel size, our baby travel guitar. And I lined them all up here just so you guys could see the, uh, the size differences between, uh, between our four sizes of guitar. And I'll run through these quick. Uh, you know, here on the left you have your, your travel. That's our smallest guitar. It's a 36-inch guitar. And then you go up to our parlor size guitar, which we just did a uh, little show and tell on two minutes ago. You could check out that video too if you're interested in, in that guitar. And the main differences between these guitars, you know, in brief, you're going to get a little bigger sound out of the parlor. If you need the absolute smallest guitar for travel, or maybe you have a child who wants the absolute smallest guitar, you know, five, six, seven years old, I usually recommend the travel size, the little one here. But, uh, Nine out of ten times, I'll, I'll usually recommend the uh, the parlor size just because it, it has a bigger sound than the travel does. So kind of depends what you're after there. And then we have our OM size next in line, and then we have our full size Zad 50 CE. And as with all guitars, no matter what the manufacturer builder, um, the bigger the box, the bigger the sound. That's just how it works. Uh, if you want the biggest sound, the big reach, deep sound always go with a full size uh, full size guitar. If you're willing to give up a little and want something that's you know you can pull in closer under your under your arm, OMs are fantastic. The uh, parlors even better. You can just it's just a little bit smaller box again. You can pull it in close. And then if you want the ultimate in, in small size, then then I usually recommend the travel. So I'm gonna grab this one so my father and I can kind of demonstrate it and walk through it, talk about it just a little bit, do a little show and tell. You can listen to it. I'll be quiet and let you listen to it. Well, if I can do it. Now again, this is our this is our smallest guitar. Um, most of our customers, you know, going with this model are are, if, are coming from like the uh, Baby Taylors, uh, the Small Martins, and uh, again, the reason they're coming to these guitars not only the playability. I hear more these days uh, is our is our bigger sound. And, and again, you're never going to have a giant sound out of a real small guitar, but because we do uh, go with a little bit thinner with our custom bracing on our guitars, they do produce a bigger sound than other smaller guitars. So um, it's, it's kind of tough finding a small guitar with a big sound, but I would highly recommend uh, looking at our lineup if, if you want the most sound for the size. Um, I'll look closer here. Again, for the new 2015s, uh, they got the Z on the in Abalone on the fretboard here. And I was just talking to my dad about that customer the other day who he had another brand. I won't I won't name the brand. He spent he paid more than uh, than uh, what we're uh, charging for our travel here. But he was wondering why his uh, why his um, fret markers were all solid, or why ours were multicolored and and not evenly white. And I kind of explained to him trying to be as nice as I could that he had plastic on his fret markers where we use real abalone uh, on our guitars. So there, there are differences here. And again, back to our true bone nut, not plastic bone, and uh, our tusk saddle that we use on all of our guitars. And this guitar is built just like our $2,500 Ad 900s. In fact, this year we use the same headstock even uh, with the rosewood headstock. Flip it over here. Grover tuners, only the best. You only get this on the top top end guitars. My father signs each one when he's done with his work. Down down to the bottom peg, same fine detail we put in all of our guitars. And I'll just look a little closer here. I had a customer asking me the other day why that wasn't printed, why the number was kind of well sloppy. I guess you could blame that on me. We hand number each one of our guitars. You know that's just the way we do it. Um, Kind of old school, but you know that's that's just the way we've always done it. So we kind of stick with that. This is not an assembly line setup. This way, these are handmade custom guitars. So um, yeah, let's play it a little more. Just let them listen to it. Very very big and rich sound for a small guitar.
early morning. We're still asleep, I think. <laughs> we sure are. And again, uh, travel size, um, I would recommend this. You know, it's funny. I have, we have a lot of parents getting this for their children. I also have a lot of businessmen who keep these, uh, these little monsters, as I call them, uh, behind their desk uh, at the office uh, for their leisure. So it's a nice, you know, toss around guitar, something you can take with you, easy to travel with. Um, you know, if you take them in the overhead bins, you can do that easy on aircraft. Um, just a top quality guitar, made just like our, our, our most expensive models. It's just in a smaller package, so if that's what you're looking for. Now, if you want just a little bit bigger sound, I would come back here to our uh, parlor size. This is going to give you, in fact, you know what, let's do a little back and forth here. Hold on, strum this, strum the, strum the trowel. Okay. Now let's swap it with the these are tuned a little bit with the parlor. You know, just a little bit fuller, richer sound because it's got a bigger box. It's just the way it is, but it's got a little more size to it too. So if you want, if you want the ultimate, it's quite a bit wider. Eh, they're close. Let's look, put them put them down on the ground. I want to look top to top. I want to look at them top to top. I'll turn it this way. Okay, now it's in discount. There we go, <laughs> folks. Yeah, we got them all. <laughs> so yeah, you see, the uh, the uh, parlor is a little bit thicker than. I'll kind of get. It. Yeah, it's it's a little bit. There's there's a size disparity in depth, and naturally, on the front size here. I'm going to line them back up here on my guitar wall here, so you can see just a little. A little bit between these two because I have a lot of customers who, who are trying to decide between the parlor and the travel and again usually I recommend the parlor but I mean it depends again if you want the ultimate smallest for travel you have a child who wants the absolute smallest guitar let's say you have a five-year-old six seven-year-old I'd probably recommend uh, the smallest travel if they're any bigger at all I usually recommend the parlor just because it's going to have that bigger sound of uh, playability they're going to be identical on both it's just a little bit difference in box size here. And then again, you have the OM size if you still want a bigger sound. My mom plays, she's five foot one, and she plays uh, the parlor size most of the time. She also has an OM and loves that too. I don't know if she has a favorite between the two. They're both, they're both really comfortable, but just kind of depends what you're looking for. If you want acoustic electric, well, then I'd be looking at the OM because I have those in acoustic electric. Occasionally, we'll put in uh, a custom electronics package in a parlor. If you really want that, uh, email me. And I can get you a quote on that if, if my dad has time we can do it but um, so hopefully that helps make your decisions a little bit easier uh, again 100% money-back guarantee lifetime warranty on all of our guitars so you're at no risk to try one we pay shipping both ways if you don't like it there's no risk uh, kind of stress fee tr stress free to buy it that way and test it out uh, and again lifetime warranty and if you have any other questions uh, don't be afraid to call or email someone's here seven days a week we will take care of you Okay, until next video, take care, folks.